Hey there. Today we are again in the northwest part of the Las Vegas Valley and we are at Richmond American Homes, their Ravenwood um, collection. And so this one is called the Rocco. It's 3470 square feet and we're going to go take a look at it. Come with me. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna tour the Rocco out here at Ravenwood um, by Richmond American Homes. And this is in between Sky Canyon and Providence, uh, which means great news for you because there's no SID, there's no LID, and there's no master plan fee, which means more money in your pocket. So we've got this really nice courtyard entryway. Your entry is covered, which blocks out a lot of the sun and the heat. And then we're gonna walk right in. This is, again, the Rocco model. It's 3470 square feet, four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, and it has a three car garage. So Richmond just continually knocks it out of the park with their design features. They have this little buffet table in here or uh, updated version of a china closet, if you will. And they're really great at showing you what spaces can be used for. So you literally have three separate dining areas in this room. You've got your formal, your everyday dining area, and then you also have the pull-out bar stools. And look at this oven. I love these types of ovens. You only see these in higher-end kitchens. Super cool feature. And then tons and tons of storage in this kitchen. And then this lot is a 33 foot deep lot on the modeled home. Just to give you kind of an idea of what the size would be. Then they have these beams running down the ceiling in here, which is an option that they offer. They've got the waterfall edge here on the island. I mean, just stunning features. And then you have the stone fireplace where you can also mount your TV. And your master bedroom. Which the light that comes into this bedroom is gorgeous. And look at all the furniture that you can fit in here. So you can tell just from looking, you know, walking through it, how much you can fit in this room. And then what do you think? Do you like these tubs that are enclosed in the shower enclosure? I've never had one, so I don't really have a feeling about it one way or the other. It's a pretty cool look though. I love the tile that they chose in here. And there's a vanity area plus two sinks. And then you actually have two closets in this master. So you have this smaller closet here. And then I'm gonna show you the magic closet because the magic closet has a super cool feature in it in this master. So very well thought out design. And then do you see that? That's the little magic piece. 
Just giving you a little sneak peek at the moment, but that is the laundry room. Isn't that genius to be right there connected to your master closet? Very smart. All right, so again, the fireplace here, which is an option. I also love that they did the uh, metal edging on that fireplace surround. And then you have a guest bathroom. And this is set up as a den. And then that laundry room, again, that leads into the master closet. And then here's one of the secondary bedrooms. an ensuite bathroom. Another bathroom. Another bedroom. And then here is the last of the four bedrooms. So you've got four bedrooms plus a den or a study um, or an office, however you want to set it up, but you have that additional space there to be able to use. Right now you would use it maybe as a kid's homework space. Okay, so this is the Rocco model. This is the actual model. So next half of this home tour is going to be a standing inventory home that is actually available for you to purchase. So let's go see what the differences are in that one. Come with me. Okay, so this is the quick move in model of the Rocco. As you can see, there are all kinds of tradespeople here finishing up this property. So we're gonna walk through it and see everything that, uh, that is done and then maybe some features that weren't in the actual model. So we're not gonna be able to see as much of this one as we did the model home, but it'll give you an idea of what they're offering. Right here is actually going to be a wine fridge. So this is an $15,000 add-on. They did a lot of upgrades in here as far as the cabinetry is concerned, um, as far as the countertops are concerned. So they're still laying the floor in here, so we need to be super careful, but it gives you kind of an idea. And then again, they have the beams in here, they have the fireplace. So a lot of the upgrades that you saw in the model home, they actually did in here. The paint scheme's a little bit different, the cabinet colors are a little bit different, but look at how big this yard is. And this is a 50 foot deep lot.
Then you've got this really wide slider at the back. And then again, we're just having to maneuver around all of these trades. They're doing the shower. You can kind of see how large that area is when you see it with nothing in it. It is ginormous. So again, you can see how upgraded this is going to be. Um, you know, they're just doing finishing touches, putting the floors in and such. But I mean, it's definitely going to be beautiful. I love the dark hinges and the dark knobs on the doors and the handles. And again, we're just taking a super quick go around so that we don't interrupt these trades. So here's your washer and dryer. And all of your secondary bathrooms and bedrooms. And all that still has to be done. So you're still looking at probably a 30 to 45 day close. What do you think? I mean, do you, can you see the potential in this one? as compared to the actual model. I think this one may even be a little bit more upgraded than the model was. You have it, a tale of two models.